Well, 20 gallons of fuel later, that's probably about the fullest that tank has ever been, right to the top. Also got some more goodies for the tractor here as well. Yes, got some uh, new window gasketines, uh, whatever you call this stuff here, uh, for installing new windows here in the cab. So it's designed for eighth of an inch uh, steel, quarter inch thick windows. And I do have some glass here, everyone. The only problem is I'm not entirely sure what kind of glass I have. So we'll have to uh, figure that out. Hopefully it's not tempered glass. I don't think it is, but I'm not sure. Also got a tool here. This is uh, supposedly somehow you use this to install this stuff, I guess, to my understanding. I don't know how it works, but I don't know. I guess I'll figure that out as well. I'm definitely no expert when it comes to glass. Never done that before. The uh, glass I got, by the way, uh, got for free. My dad actually uh, picked it up for me. Uh, they were throwing some glass away at work, I guess. Uh, it's some fairly good sized uh, panes here. I probably don't have enough to do all the windows on the cab here. And we pretty much need to do all the windows on the cab here because literally everyone, pretty much every single window on this cab is broken. But uh, we at least got enough to get started with, hopefully anyway, assuming I can cut it, everyone. That's gonna be the big, uh, the big question here because again, I don't know what kind of glass it is. Uh, have to maybe see if I can do a little research looking into it or maybe ask around, see if anyone happens to know what kind of glass it was. Uh, again, if it's tempered glass, everyone, there's not much I can do with it. You can't cut tempered glass because, again, tempered glass, when you cut it, it shatters, right? It you know explodes all over the place. Uh, I, did, well, I was asking my dad, he said, and they were when they were throwing the glass away, uh, when they would throw it in the dumpster, it wouldn't break, it wouldn't shatter. Uh, it would it would break, but it would still stay as one piece. So that to me suggests it's probably a laminated glass, I would think. I'm not sure on that. Again, I'm not familiar with my glasses, everyone, but typically, as far as I know, if the glass breaks and stays in one piece, uh, usually there's like a, a layer, a laminated layer inside the glass that holds it all together. Kind of like on your windshield, as far as I know. I think that's what the windshields are, laminated type glass. I don't know if that's tempered on top of that. I, I don't know how that works, everyone, but... Uh, Anyway, hopefully it's either laminated or just regular glass we can cut. Uh, most of the glass it looks like on this cab is some sort of laminated glass. So if it's laminated, it's perfect. That's what was in the cab. That's what we can put back in it. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, whatever you call this stuff that goes in there. And anyway. Also, if you watched uh, last episode here, we had a bit of a failure here, I guess you could say, on our... Uh, air conditioning system here, at least the heat portion of it. We kept popping our 150 amp dual 150 amp circuit breakers here. Uh, I don't know why everyone, uh, doing a little more thinking about this, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it, it seems highly unlikely to me that this uh, unit up here would be drawn that much power and the reason I say that, everyone, because this unit is not that big, you got to keep in mind, we're only running on 12-gauge wire coming out of here. Uh, I think the unit's rated for like 1,000 watts. So uh, if uh, assumption being we're drawing 1,000 watts max, uh, we're drawing maybe 100 watts on the inverter, I think. So why are we popping 150-amp dual 150-amp circuit breakers? Yeah, I'm not sure, everyone. I'm not sure. We'll have to... Uh, uh, I, was, I was talking to my dad about this, and he's uh, under the assumption something's got to be wrong somewhere. Either something's wrong with that heating element up there. It's drawing too much power. Uh, maybe maybe just got to get started. I don't know, although it's a heating element. Uh, yeah, I know like with the air conditioner, when, yes, you, you got that initial startup with the air conditioner. It draws a lot of power. I don't know that you have that with a heating unit, do you? Or a heating element? Not sure. Maybe you do. Uh, as far as the air conditioning, though, goes, everyone, it seems like the air conditioning was working. Uh, I did run that. Again, it was cold out Saturday, so I couldn't tell. Uh, it was blowing cold there, everyone. I had it on the air conditioning setting. Was it actually you running the air conditioner? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, actually, you know what? I guess I could have come down here and looked at the display on here. I didn't think of doing that. Uh, but assuming the air conditioner was running, I'm just guessing it was, everyone. It was working. Uh, we were maintaining voltage. The alternator seemed to be keeping up. Uh, again, I did kind of check the wires. Uh, nothing was getting hot. The only thing I noticed that was getting hot was the relays down here. Those were getting hot. Uh, I'm not sure why that was. They're rated for 150 amps each. Supposed to be anyway. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But it uh, looks like we'll have to do some more research on this, everyone. Maybe uh, do a little more thinking. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it yet. Uh, yeah, we'll have to, uh, have to do some more figuring there. 
Anyway, this episode, I, want, I actually want to maybe see if we can put a piece of a uh, window or uh, yeah, window piece of glass in the cab here for a change. And I figure we'll start with one that's not broken. And literally the only piece that's not broken here is the back window. Oh, and uh, the door has a piece that's not broken as well. The top piece is front windshield. Yeah, it's broke. Uh, this one here isn't too bad. It's got like one crack in it. Uh, you know, if I don't have enough glass, I can leave that one be. I'm not too worried about that one. You know, one, that one there. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that one's toast. But uh, yeah, I thought we'd maybe get this one out here. I wonder, we're going to bring this in the barn. We're going to clean it up, slap a little paint on it. Uh, we won't probably be able to get it on here this video because I'm going to have to paint it and let it dry, but uh, we'll maybe wire brush it. I think that's the only thing we need to do, really. Wire brush. Oh, I'm going to have to get some new uh, gasket material, too, aren't I? That's right. I forgot about that. Well, let's get this inside the barn here. Okay, there we go. Got it in the barn here, propped up on a couple of saw horses here. Uh, yeah, you can see the old gasket material on here. Well, I mean, this stuff is just like, it, it's harder than a rock, everyone. It's, yeah, there's nothing left of that stuff. So I've got to get some new stuff of that. Um, I don't think I have any yet. I'll have to look. Maybe I do. I don't think so. So I uh, need some new stuff of that. Um, I noticed I'm missing a bracket here as well. I'll have to look through what I have. Hopefully I have that yet because uh, that would not be good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this bracket goes here. Looks like it probably needs to go like that. I, I don't know. I have to figure that out. Uh, that is the bottom of the window there. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll get the wire brush out here and we'll clean this up. I noticed there's a spider there. I kind of smashed it once already. We're going to smash that thing again because Randy don't like spiders at all. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll slap some paint on this.
uh, primer painted on it there. Uh, again, this window is going to be uh, you know a little more messy maybe than the rest because the uh, rest again I plan to remove in the glass and then I can you know like properly paint the frame. This one I'm just going to brush on here. And speaking of brushing on here, I'm not sure what's up with my primer, but uh, there wasn't a whole lot left. But I did on purpose save this so I could paint some of these windows. Uh, like I said, not a lot left, but it's all like chunky in the bottom. I don't know why that is. It was sealed shut. I guess just not enough in there. Didn't think I was going to have enough there at first because like, oh boy, it's all chunky. But I uh, did get enough paint out of it. Yeah, call it good enough, I guess. Okay, well, for our last, uh, I think this will be a last trick for the night here. We're going to get this uh, side post here. I got a piece, uh, I just finished uh, cutting for that here. That's going to fit over that. We'll get that uh, glued on here in a moment. I'm just going to probably like slather this whole thing in uh, contact cement. Uh, the piece kind of came apart here because I got it so thin. Uh, and by the way, I'm trying to figure out if I can do the same thing for the back one there. I might have to wait till I get the windows in just to see what's, what kind of clearance I have there. I guess I should have a little bit. It'd be nice if I had like some thicker stuff. I need like some inch and a half thick that would uh, fit in there. Uh, same thing for here too. You can see like I got, you know, a half inch uh, gap left there yet. Might still put a piece on there yet. We'll see once, but yeah, that would be perfect. Okay, that should be enough uh, clamps to hold that uh, piece on there. And we're getting pretty low on uh, contacts, man, here. Probably just enough to do uh, that piece there yet, I think. Oh, you know what? I do have some more pieces I'm probably going to be doing, like, around here yet. So that actually is probably not going to be it. I'm probably going to have to get some more contacts, man, aren't I? Oh, and you know what? I just realized I forgot all back here yet. Uh, that's right. I was going to pull the seat off, and uh, we're going to have to see what's what we can do about that yet as well. I've got some more of that uh, black foam I've kind of used, like, on the hood and stuff. Uh, I figured I'm going to put some of that underneath the seat because, uh, again, the seat goes up and down. It's like a whole open void area under there. You know, I can't really put anything solid, so I figured I'll just put some of that stuff and kind of just stuff it in there and, uh, I don't know, see what's how it goes, I guess. Uh, I've got the same problem here underneath uh, these covers as well, and I realized I should probably have done something about them before I put the cab on because now that the cab's on, I can't get them off. Uh, they're basically just essentially large void hollow areas I can't do nothing with, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll have to figure out something for that. Well, everyone, we're getting uh, closer to having the uh, tractor uh, done here. I think we're going to wrap it up here for this uh, video. Uh, yeah, getting closer. Uh, we still have a couple like, big things to do yet, like the holes here. Need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. We need to build a battery cover. I'm hoping I can get to that here this week at uh, some point. Not sure when we'll uh, start that, but yes, I want to start on the battery cover here. Uh, again, I've got a piece of sheet steel. Actually, it's laying right there. And I've got a couple extra pieces to go along with it, like uh, in corner strips as well. We'll kind of weld on there. Uh, again, as I said, I'm going to just put like a, I think I'm probably, uh, I was thinking four of them. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. Oh, maybe I can like put it here or something. Like four uh, thumb screws on it to uh, hold that down, put some sort of sealing uh, material. Actually, actually what I was thinking I could do as well, everyone, this might actually be a better idea. I've got uh, angle pieces, right? I can leave this up just a little bit so there's an air gap under here. You know, it's, it's going to be, you'd have to, you know, go up and in, right? But I can leave an air gap. That might actually be a good idea as well. I was kind of thinking about doing that. We'll see once how it all works out, but that'd probably be a good idea. Uh, anyway, just wanted to uh, maybe answer a question here as well. I got, oh, I think it was maybe a week or so ago. Probably should have answered it sooner, but uh, some, oh, sorry, I forget the person who uh, was kind of mentioning this. But uh, he was saying, well, you're crazy doing all this uh, work to the cab. Why would you want to do this? Well, I can answer that question. And this person kind of answers his own question as well. He's like, well, if you want a radio, you know, just get yourself a fender mount and radio. Yes, you could do that. Uh, that person uh, then proceeded to say how his uncle is deaf as a result of said fender mount and radio. It's like, yeah, exactly why I don't want that. Uh, and exactly why I prefer not to go deaf any sooner than what I have to. So that is why we're doing the work on the cab here, everyone. Um, if you know anything about these cabs, I would say they have two fundamental problems, if you will. Eh, if you want to call them problems. Uh, they got two uh, features to them that are not so nice, shall we say. They are obnoxiously loud and noisy to the point that you're going to have to have hearing protection if you're inside one of these cabs, everyone. Uh, they're just, they're that loud, especially, you know, the metal, it just reverberates. It's louder inside the cab than it is outside the cab, or at least it was anyway. Uh, just from the uh, test I did Saturday there, sounds like I think we're doing pretty good, everyone. I think we're doing pretty good. It, it sounded pretty good in there, I thought. Again, keep in mind, we don't have any doors or windows on there yet, but uh, we'll have to see once what it sounds like once we get some doors and windows and uh, 
kind of get it a little more finalized, if you will. I mean, we got the whole open area underneath there too. So, but and then the uh, second problem with these cabs are when come the middle of summer, uh, you could roast hot dogs inside that cab. So can you imagine what it is sitting like inside? Yeah, exactly. That one. So, uh, like I said, two fundamental problems with these cabs: hotter than hot in the summer. Uh, like you cannot stand to be inside of them. And then they're louder than loud as well, like they're going to go deaf. So uh, we're trying to address both problems here with this cab. That's uh, why we're putting uh, this much work into it. And, and then plus, of course, that one we've uh, we've done uh, some stuff. We maybe don't have to as well, but uh, kind of uh, fun to uh, see what's what we can do with an old cab like this. And, and at least, uh, like I was saying earlier in the video, it looks like the air conditioning system was working. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out the heat here yet, but uh, if the air conditioning system is working, I think that's actually more important than the heat. Uh, you know, again, I'm on a cab. Uh, do you need heat? Yeah, it's nice, right? It's nice, but uh, maybe not as necessary, in my opinion, as air conditioning comes summertime when the sun's beating down on it through the glass and it literally becomes like a cooked greenhouse inside there. Yeah, green. <laughs> uh, let's see what's here. Uh, anything else? I think that's about it, everyone. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll slap some uh, green paint on the window there. Uh, got my can of green paints up over there. And uh, as I was saying, too, with the rest of the windows, again, we'll probably be pulling most of those windows out so I can paint the entire frame. I don't have to worry about, you know, the gasket and the window in there. Yeah, most of the windows, again, on this cab are broken. Uh, these here are, well, I took one out. My well, one was broken. We took that one out. This one here actually was not broken. I think it was uh, this actual one too, yeah, it was not broken. Fortunately, I broke it, taking it out, so, oh boy. And then the back window, everyone was just like, it was all kinds of broken. It, the pieces already were missing from it. So again, I'll have to uh, see once what kind of glass I've got, everyone. I've got three sheets of glass. Um, I know the one sheet's like big enough, I could probably do like two windows and then maybe even have these windows done. So we'll have to see once uh, what we can get done. I might actually have enough glass to do all the windows on this cab that are broken anyway, which would really, really be nice. We'll have to see once here. That is assuming everyone is the right type of glass that I can cut and I can work with. Again, I've never worked with glass before. I've never, I don't think I've ever even cut glass before. I know my brother has, so I might have to maybe uh, employ him here and see once if he can help me uh, cut the glass. Again, assuming it's cuttable, because again, you cannot cut uh the, the uh, oh, what type of glass again? You can't uh, cut the tempered glass. So I don't know if it's tempered or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I'm gonna go, hopefully what my dad said, he said they weren't throwing away, it would break, but it wouldn't shatter. So if it's tempered glass, I went as far as I know, it shatters. It doesn't, you know, just like break and then stay together. It, it's, you know, the whole thing just uh, explodes into a million pieces as far as I know. So anyway, on that note, everyone, thanks for watching rambling on here a bit uh comments or questions be sure to uh, throw them down below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more everyone and yes everyone we are getting close um uh, uh yeah a bit more work here yet oh well, speaking of work by the way in case you're wondering yes everyone the work's been going a little bit slower here for the last a week or so uh for one thing i've had a lot of other stuff going on uh second off the past uh, two months i've had every monday almost every monday off from work so that's really uh pushed the project along fairly quick as well uh so yeah Going a little bit slower here. Probably will continue to go a little bit slower for the next a week here or so because I do have some other stuff going on as well. But uh, we'll get done what we can and uh, see when we get done. Hopefully maybe tomorrow. I'd like to see if we can maybe cut the glass I have. We'll have to see once. We'll see what we get to tomorrow, everyone. So anyway, like I said, thanks for watching and until next time.